EMR stands for endoscopic mucosal resection, which means that we cut the mucosal layer off the lining of the GI tract to remove precancerous or cancerous lesions, which are early. The technique evolved about 10 to 15 years ago for us to take out large polyps in the GI tract, and now we are taking out not only precancerous polyps and benign polyps, but also early cancers using the EMR technique. So when you do an EMR, first you take a needle with fluid in it and inject into the base of the lesion. This raises the lesion up for us to be able to cut it. There are two ways to cut. One would be to use a cap at the tip of a scope and suck the lesion into the cap and then use a snare and snare it and basically cut the lesion off. The other technique would be just for larger lesions that are larger than caps can take, uh, we would use a snare to ensnare the lesion and basically cut it with electrocautery. So this is an average size, medium size snares, but the snares can be bigger for bigger lesions. After a EMR is done, there are two complications we worry about. The first is a perforation, which is typically seen at the time of EMR and can be closed with using clips or a suturing device. The other complication, which is more often seen, is delayed bleeding, which can occur up to a week to 10 days later, and hence patients need to monitor for bleeding once they go home. EMR has the advantage of removing small endoscopic lesions less than two centimeters in size in one piece. And the advantage is that it's minimally invasive and you don't have to go to surgery for that. Typically you would come in and get your endoscopic procedure done and go home the same day. It doesn't entail any hospitalization. It doesn't involve any organ excision, it doesn't involve any surgery that would need you to stay in the hospital at night.